I'm going to use the for statement example here using tables Multiply it twelve times. Okay, so the user is gonna say something like five in there, then I'm gonna say one times five is equals to five, two times five is equals to ten until uh, until twelve times five equals sixteen. Okay, so it should happen under the button. I need to use a for loop from 1 to 12 and I'm going to build it up little by little so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to display the 1, then the 2, then the 3 up to 12 in my reach edit so I need to display the value of i and i is an integer so i need to convert it to a string int to str because everything that we display is a string data type to 12 now I'm going to add a time signal to multiply I need to put it in single quotation marks so it's going to take that string plus this string why is it a string because I converted it from an integer to a string and when we add two strings together you will concatenate them put them next to each other Okay, now I need a value in my edit box. So I'm going to say plus the value that was entered in my edit box. Edit one dot text. Let's say five. So it will say one times five. Now I'm going to add the equal sign. And now I need to calculate the answer and to display the answer. So I'm going to say plus, let's make a variable, I answer, it's an integer. Then I can say something like this maybe. I answer is equals to I times edit one dot text but remember text is a string data type so I will need to convert this to integer so it's str to int so it will take the string make it an integer so that I can do mathematical calculations so it's going to be one times five and then it will save the five in I answer then it's going to be 2 times 5 and save the answer in I answer. Okay, over here, I answer is an integer and I want to display it, so I'll have to convert it to a string. int to str.
Okay, 12,000 times 5 is 60. Okay, so I use the for loop, 1 to 12. Over here, I'm calculating the answer. And uh, Richard lies at that. First, just display the 1, then the 2, then the 3, plus the star, plus the actual value that we are multiplying with, the equal sign, and then the answer. These are all string data types at the moment, so I can just add them and they will be concatenated next to each other. Okay, so uh, improve this program a little bit more. Reach it at one. Reach it at one dot lines. Not lines dot clear. I want to clear it so that the user can um, repeat the program. So first time you use five, then he changes. He wants to see the seven times table. Will also work for that. Okay, so the clear will clear the previous one and then just display it again, over again. 